their brothers and sisters in Islam. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Indeed, there is a piece of the body, but if it is healthy and in a proper condition, the rest of the body will be healthy and as well, and if it goes bad or rust, then the rest of the body will suffer. It is the heart, Ibadullah. So, Ibadullah, when the heart is in a good condition, it makes all the other limbs of the body function as they should. In obedience to what pleases Allah, however, when the heart, the heart is sick, then the body's actions will undoubtedly reflect that through this disobedience to Allah. Insha'Allah, we will talk to you in this khutbah about the effects of sins on the soul and body. Ibadullah, sins make a person forget the majesty and power of Allah. Yes, brothers and sisters in Islam, if you want to know how terrible such a sin is, Look at this hadith of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam where he said undoubtedly I know of nations from my ummah who will come out on judgment day with good deeds the size of mountains but Allah will make these deeds worthless as dust. When thou they are from your own brothers and sisters in Islam they pray at night just like you pray at night. But when they were left alone, faced with choosing the obedience of Allah in secret, they disgraced His command. Salaqa Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Also, Ibadullah, anxiety and depression are the segment of our sins. Allah says what means? And the, and the one who turned away from my remembrance for him is confined existence and we shall rise him blind for blind on the day of resurrection. So the servant should always remember that through happiness only comes in true belief in Allah and following the way of his messenger. And prevision. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, undoubtedly the servant is deprived from part of what was originally written from for them throughout their sins. So brothers and sisters, fear Allah before your hearts become ardent and cold and before you lose your majesty and humility which is hayat. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, those who do not have humility expect that they will not have any reservations in what they do. Ibadullah, when, once a person gets to this point, it is even harder for Quran or Hadith to penetrate into softening his or her heart. We seek refuge with Allah from such condition. Lastly, brothers and sisters in Islam, Sins lead to bigger sins and affect the entire livelihood. And knowing that our body is at rest, a blessing from Allah, so don't wage a battle against Allah and His Messenger with the blessing He has provided you with. Brothers and sisters, true happiness only lies in the obedience of Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah said, Whoever works righteousness, whether male or female, while he or she is a true believer, verily to him we will give a good life in this world. And we shall pay them certainly a reward on proportion to the best of what they used to do in paradise in the hereafter. نسأل الله جل وعلا أن يجعلنا من ممن يعمل عملا صالحا ينال به أجر الدنيا والآخرة إنه ولي ذلك والقادر عليه اللهم باعد بيننا وبين خطايانا 
كما باعدت بين المشرق والمغرب اللهم نقنا من الذنوب والخطايا كما ينقى الثوب الأبيض من الدنس اللهم نقنا من الذنوب والخطايا كما ينقى الثوب الأبيض من الدنس اللهم اغسلنا من ذنوبنا بالثلج والماء والبرد اللهم ارحمنا اللهم اغفر تقصيرنا يا رب العالمين اللهم اغفر تقصيرنا اللهم تجاوز عنا باليسير واعف عنا الكثير إنك أنت نعم المولى ونعم النصير اللهم اغفر لجميع موتى المسلمين الذين شهدوا لك بالوحدانية ولنبيك بالرسالة وماتوا على ذلك اللهم اغفر لهم وارحمهم اللهم أكرم نزلهم ووسع مدخلهم برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم ارحمنا إذا صرنا إلى ما صاروا إليه اللهم ارحمنا إذا صرنا إلى ما صاروا إليه تحت التراب وحدنا اللهم ارحمنا إذا صرنا إلى ما صاروا إليه تحت التراب وحدنا اللهم ارفع الظلم عن المظلومين اللهم ارفع الظلم عن المظلومين والاضطهاد عن المضطهدين يا حي يا قيوم يا رب العالمين اللهم هذا الدعاء ومنك الإجابة اللهم تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين وقوموا إلى صلاتكم يرحمكم الله